Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to another Once Upon a Time a Reaction. This is Season 5, Episode 16 and it is called Our Decay. Um, okay, so, well, we, we, we're, we're nearly at the conclusion to the Hook rescuing scenario. Hook has been rescued. We've just got to figure out a way, well, our heroes have just got to figure out a way of getting him back to earth back to the overworld um they can't do the heart splitting thing now well not at least not with snow emma or regina we have a, a little mystery to solve as to what and how zelina and hades know each other and also, we've got this little side thing of um, Henry and the Quill. And him wanting to pretty much be involved in writing the stories rather than just recording them. Oh no, he's decided to just record them now, hasn't he? Because he's, he's going to record Hades' story. And that way they're going to find out exactly what um, Hades' weakness is. Well, got quite a lot going on actually when I think about it. And of course, we've got all these souls to save as well. And of course, our heroes are going to save as many as possible. Well, what do you want? That's a scarecrow. You're going to help me create a very special spell, one that no sorcerer has yet to achieve. A time travel spell. I just need the ingredients. Symbols of innocence, love, and courage and wisdom. A symbol of <laughs> innocence could be a baby, for instance. And a symbol of wisdom could be a brain. <laughs> Your brain, to be exact. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop! Dorothy. <gasps> Dorothy? Didn't I Grown up Dorothy. Kansas? Well, witch. <laughs> I'm back. You will never defeat me, Zelina. Because I have the most powerful weapon of all. Oh, yeah? The love of the people. <laughs> Oh. How many times is that curtain going to defeat someone? Were they lovers? You must tell me where you want this portal directed. Storybook, yes, of course. As if Rob would need you to ask. All right, we're going to go find out what's going on in the overworld. I love calling it that. One of them's Neil. Who's the other one? Oh yeah, Zelina's baby. Formula for the babies? Of course, here. I'll help. At the red ones first. Oh, right. I don't know where my head is today. <laughs> and she's normally Most usually very away. calm and collected. What's going on? Nothing. Everything's fine. Mm, no, it no, isn't. It's not. Oh, it's an imposter. Who are you? It's Zelina, isn't it? Zelina. <laughs> you really are a clever girl. We'll see. Oh dear, the portal is opening. Let Zelina go, let Zelina go. What the hell? Hell? Okay, let's everyone jump in. I heard a rumor that you're dabbling in time travel, trying to achieve the unachievable. It won't be unachievable for long. Which is why I'm here. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm going to give her the secret ingredient <laughs> or something. Is flirting with me? <laughs> no, I'm not the devil. People are always conflating us. No, I want to help you. This <laughs> scarecrow, he is one of the ingredients you need. It's all about Zelina. Zelina? So, someone finally did you in. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm very much alive. How did you get here? 
through a portal. And I didn't come alone. Who else is here? Poor baby. And she's in danger. My boy was sick. In exchange for Belfire's life, I made a deal to give up my second-born child. Maybe you don't have a second-born child. Not yet. It happened, pal. No. I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> we're we're going to have a baby. <laughs> and he's going to get taken away from you. A, a baby a, a baby that you've already sold. Yeah, so we, 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 we can fix that. I'll use all my power. We, we can fix that this. Power? Oh. Uh, it's all out the bag now, isn't it? Look, you wanted me to be a better man. A hero. And you've done that. But if you want me to be a different man, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is who I am. That is a good point. You weren't always. Yes, I was. Yeah, he was. Even when I was a coward, I craved power. The only difference is now I have it. And I won't let it go. Not again. You fell in love with the beast. You fell in love with me. Because there was a man. And, and the beast. Neither exists without the other. No. Yes. No. Yes. I, I can't condone you being like this. Uh, not again. Maybe not, but... You've got to accept it. Yes, you can. It's like a broom with wheels. You saw it. It's really, really nice to see Vizzolina you know, happy and smiling. Would you like to go again? <laughs> yes, I'd like to go again. <laughs> Giggling like a schoolgirl. Now, tell me how this piece of tin can help me find my prey. That loathsome farm girl must have him carefully hidden. Uh, this bicycle awesome. belongs to Dorothy. There she is. Go on. This Dorothy's no match for you. I've seen many powerful women in my day, but none as brilliantly wicked as you. <laughs> or clever, or witty, or beautiful. Off, witch, you're not taking him from me. Yes, yes, I will. What did you do? No, no, no. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, I won't let you win. It's all my fault. I can't protect her. Not down here, not from him. You need to tell us exactly what happened with you and Hades. Yes. Wants to use her for a spell, for my time travel spell. Really? He's got the same thirst for vengeance as I do. You know, he had love in his heart. But because of me, it's gone. Take her. You can protect her. I can't. My magic's unpredictable. I don't care if you never let me see her again. But you have to save her, Regina, please. It's more important than what happens to me. Wow. <sighs> Goodbye, little one. <laughs> Mummy has to let you go. Oh, no. <sighs> For your own good. comes full circle <laughs> and now maybe she understands how Cora felt the infant son of Snow White and Prince Charming looked up at the tiny glass unicorns as they stirred by the wind 
But on this night, he didn't hear the chime of the crystal. Instead, he heard the voices of his mother, Snow White, and his father, Prince Charming. They sang a lullaby until he fell asleep as soundly as if he were in their arms. He heard us. Oh, this is a really emotional episode. What's wrong with me today? Thanks, Henry. <sighs> I don't know about anyone else, but I am really ready to get back home to my family. Yeah, yeah. My whole family. No more waiting. Oh. We can save ourselves. We're going to take down Hades, and we're going to do it now. <sighs> I'm not going back to the underworld, Selena. No? You said you needed... Oh. Yes. Do so you think that you and me had... True love. You can't tell me you don't feel something, too. Yes, but we just met. I know, I know. No. No? What? How could I be so stupid? What, what are you talking about? I almost believed you. It's the truth, I promise. You want me to kiss you to free you from the underworld. And then you'll have the power to yes. steal this brain and enact my time travel spell. For you. And only you. Because that's what I would do. <laughs> you want revenge. Until you get it, you will never be satisfied. You need this spell. You need to go oh, he back does, yes. to be your brother, just like I need to go back to be my sister. Love is not enough. No, Zelina, I don't want that anymore. I want you. I love you. I, I can't work out whether he's telling the truth or not. No one could love me. Go back to your brimstone. I never want to see your face again. Oh. Maybe he was being serious. You will regret this, Selena. I'm not sure now. I'm not I'm not entirely sure whether he was telling the truth or not. child for your time travel spell <laughs> if you touch her I will demolish you there's no need for that I wouldn't hurt you I never would have hurt you he did mean it that's the thing about true love it, it endures it can't be broken what? so sending Rumpelstiltskin after my daughter had nothing to do with revenge on your brother Selena, I was trying to rescue her from those miserable heroes for you. I didn't know you were there. No, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. Despite everything I've done, you've loved me all this time. Despite my best intentions, things don't grow here. They <laughs> decay. But it's our decay. <laughs> Cue credits. What better revenge is there than having it all? <laughs> I had it all. And then I gave them back my baby because I thought that you wanted to hurt her. Well, then we'll just have to go back. Oh, uh, here we go. Again. Yeah. <laughs> it was his plan all along. No. <laughs> I want to trust you. I do. Yeah, but you still can't. I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're joking. That's the end already. Bloody hell. These are getting shorter. That was about two minutes. Oh! Okay, it was brilliant. Brilliant seeing uh, a little bit more of Zillion's backstory from Oz. Um, great seeing Dorothy again, but it just, oh, it just warmed, warmed the cockles of my heart to see Zelina happy and flirting and falling in love even if she did throw it away i think she made the right choice in throwing it back in hades face i don't think he's telling the truth i think this is all a ploy to get his hands on the baby uh i mean that's basically the deal he's got with rumpelstiltskin isn't it 
one baby in exchange for another. So this this innocence, the innocence of a baby, is very important to this spell, and he's not going to give up on it lightly. Great to see Belle back in the story again. Uh, I think she's going to come round to Rumpel. I'm not sure, but yeah, Rumpel was right when he said she fell in love with the beast and the man. Uh because let's face it, the beast is all she ever knew before she fell in love with him. So, I think she'll come round. I think she'll see it from his point of view. Uh, apart from that, yeah, a re good solid episode. I, I really enjoyed the Zelina bits. I enjoyed the Hades bits. Uh, i just got, got to see the confrontation between everybody and Hades. And where this... the Henry, being the author, is leading. Because he, he's writing, you know, that's two two stories he's written in this episode, so he's definitely getting the hang of it, even if he is doing it subconsciously. Yeah, right. On with episode 17. Until then, bye-bye.